So I'm just going to run through a, through a few things. Um, we bought some new equipment through the crowdfunder page. Um, lots of hatchery um, based stuff, thanks to the advice from the Tropical Marine Centre, especially Nick Bridal. He's been amazing. And uh, so we have Easy dose peristaltic feeders, which can uh, give a certain amount of feed per tank, uh, per hour, per minute. We have various pumps. We have a um, pink bird temperature uh, sensor, so we can control the heating or the cooling of each tank. All the tanks are natural seawater. Our estuary is right there, probably three, four meters away. And then yesterday on the high tide, we filled up. 2,000 litres out the back as our backup. We've got 3,000 litres in the IBC containers here, and then we've got the um, currently the holding tank with the native native oysters we picked up off the of the Myla Creek Lay um, on the 23rd of May and yesterday the 19th of June 2020. So basically, this is all new to me. Um, but what we're going to do is take some readings. So we've got a digital temperature and humidity reading. And uh, when I wrote it down a second ago, it was 20.3, but with the door open, it just dropped to 19.9. But it's about 20 degrees in here. We also have a manual um, temperature. It's actually for fridges, and it states about 18 over on the other side of the room. And we have a temperature gauge sensor in a, in a 50 litre bin that we put in yesterday to see if we could raise the temperature successfully in the uh, seawater. That's currently reading 18.3, and um, it started at 15 yesterday, so I'm quite pleased that it's gone up three degrees. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to retrieve some of the oysters from the holding tank, and we're going to select um, the, the best shaped ones, and ones without any um, disease or parasites or uh, invasive creatures on them. We're going to give them a quick scrub. We gave them a fresh wash yesterday as we do with everything that comes in here. Um, on quite a low pressure setting but it had a nice fan so it cleaned a lot of the seaweed off. Um, we did have oysters in here on the, from the 23rd of May just as a, a sort of security holding but as Tony Leg in Jersey has quite clearly pointed out you know they might not have uh, shared the gametes, if that's the right word, um, in the natural environment. So we also pulled up some crays yesterday, gave them a pressure wash, and they're all in the same tank. I have a total of 280 oysters in there, that's 280. And um, what we're going to do is select some of the best ones. We're going to weigh each oyster. We're going to, as I say, select the best cup shell. Now, it might be that the, the growth has been um, hindered by another object the seabed so we're not totally convinced that it's um, there's anything wrong with the oysters but we, we really want to select the really the best cup shaped um, natural oysters for our hatchery selection so we'll move on to the next bit thanks